And over the last oh, probably 10 years or so, as I've started to investigate the aspects of art and ask the question of what is beauty and what is not, and get deeper into the philosophical aspects of uh, answering some of those questions, I started to realize that there was just as much to say in ugliness as there is in what one would define as beauty philosophically. What I'm doing now uh, in this art, which is pretty much the direction I've taken and I prefer, is to try and address some of the, the aspects of philosophy, metaphysics, I'll get involved with some representations of social, political, and I would even go so far as to say uh, religious, not mathematical, uh, and the sciences in general in the art. This piece here is called the Dodecahedron. The Dodecahedron is a 12-sided construct, geometric construct of 12 pentagons. And the actual impetus for this painting was to was a, a little news uh, article that I heard that scientists in defining the universe uh, was, was speculated that the universe was a complex of dodecahedrons, and that our universe is just one of the dodecahedrons in, in the vastness of the universe. Yeah. It is a, a representation that I've made of it. Um, for a long time in history, the astronomical signs have been part of our understanding as we've looked at the sky. And so I've included those here with the construct of these multiple heads and faces to kind of represent populations of varied people uh, throughout the universe. You can call them aliens, you can call them people, but the point being is that they all to represent a sphere and a dodecahedron. This piece here is just recently finished. Um, it's called uh, 25 squared. And uh, it was very interesting to me to work with this particular idea of using CMYK color palette. And so just those three colors with black and white. This piece here is called C note, and C note is a uh, had its beginning on a long trip. As a matter of fact, I was making a beltway around uh, Houston on my way back to North Texas, and I happened to notice that mile for mile, distance for distance, uh, I kept seeing the same Walmart, the same. Home Depot, the same Lowe's, the same back pile, the same gas station, the same church in sections of say, about 10 miles as I went through and around Houston. A lot of thought came later. I could certainly pass many areas of poverty as I went around Houston. And it just uh, came to me that the real story was that we are a conglomerate of uh, repetition and that uh, we are all somewhat begging for that, uh, begging for that buck, and that buck is begging for us. The real story is only in one small quarter inch or so, mm -hmm. and it's right here. And that's the fellow that's standing there in the bottom of the picture. One of the things that I noticed years ago in attending shows is that so many viewers of art uh, walk by art. They basically are evaluating in a split second likes, dislikes. And if there's anything I want my viewers to, to do is to stop and look. Um, they all tell a story uh, in their own way and uh, they are all not pretty, but they are uh, emotion invoking. 
in, in many different ways. Uh, I wouldn't say so much that I want to evoke an emotion as I want them to emote a thought as to what I'm trying to say. You know, I, I could easily be painting signs to say exactly what I want to say. But uh, art has to be representational in many different ways, and many different types of art usually are. This is just one style, and I'm one artist with this one style.